Let's build a DIY three array line following robot car using the quad store kit. This intelligent robot is designed to accurately follow a black line on a white surface using its three IR sensors. Prepare the chassis plate. Start by taking the acrylic base plate and carefully removing the protective film, clear or brown, from both sides. This mount the first motor. Insert one motor mount into the chassis base as shown in the video. Place the motor in the center of the mount and then attach the second motor mount on the opposite side of the motor. Insert one of the longer bolts through the motor mount and base and fasten it with a nut on the other side. Repeat this for the second bolt at the top to ensure the motor is tightly secured between the mounts. Follow the same process on the other side of the chassis to mount and secure the second motor. Once both motors are in place and firmly secured, insert the wheels into the motor shafts until they fit snugly. Now let's install the rear caster wheel. Move to the rear end of the chassis. Take a small screw and insert it through one of the holes. Use a hex nut on the other side to tighten it. Do the same for the second hole. Align the caster wheel in place and fasten it using two screws to complete the rear wheel assembly. And that's it. You've successfully assembled your 2WD chassis. Now that the 2WD chassis assembly is complete, let's move on to mounting the microcontroller PCB onto the chassis. Start by inserting screws into the holes as shown in the video and secure each one with a hex mount on the top. Repeat this for all four mounting holes. Once the hex mounts are in place, position the microcontroller PCB on top of them and fasten it using screws. That's it. Next, connect the motor wires. Insert the right motor wires into the D9 and D10 sockets and the left motor wires into the D5 and D6 sockets on the PCB. Note that the red and black motor wires are interchangeable. If your robot doesn't move straight, simply swap the wires in the sockets to correct the direction. Now, let's place the battery holder. Stick a piece of double-sided tape to the bottom of the holder and press it firmly onto the chassis base. This will keep it securely in place. Finally, connect the DC plug from the battery holder to the DC jack on the microcontroller PCB. Insert a screw through the line sensor module and attach the hex mount firmly. Repeat the same on the other side of the sensor. Once both mounts are fixed, align the sensor at the center of the robot chassis and secure it tightly with screws on both sides.
Next, take jumper wires and connect them to the VCC, G and D, left, center and right pins of the line sensor. Route the wires from the bottom of the chassis so that they come out neatly on the top. Now, connect the sensor to the microcontroller board as follows. Connect VCC pin to the 5 volt socket on the microcontroller board. Connect G and D pin to the G socket. Connect the left sensor jumper wire to D2 socket. Connect the center sensor jumper wire to D3 socket. Connect the right sensor jumper wire to D4 socket. Important note, make sure the wires are connected to the correct pins. Incorrect wiring can cause your robot to behave erratically or fail to follow the line. That's it. Your robot is now ready for action. Create a track using black electrical insulation tape on a white surface, preferably a white chart paper. Avoid using shiny or reflective surfaces like marble or tiles as they can interfere with the sensor readings. Once your track is ready, place the robot on the black line and watch it automatically follow the path with precision. Fixing common issues. If your robot doesn't move straight when placed on the black line, try the following fixes. If the robot keeps turning left continuously, interchange the left motor wires connected to D5 and D6 socket. This should correct the direction and your robot will start moving straight. If the robot keeps turning right continuously, Interchange the right motor wires connected to D9 and D10 socket. This should fix the issue and make the robot move straight. If the robot moves backward instead of forward, interchange both the left motor wires connect to D5 and D6 socket and the right motor wires connected to D9 and D10 socket. After this correction, the robot should move forward and follow the line properly.